Hey everybody, coming at you inside Scott's uh, Scott's got Scott's car here today. We're coming on, going back uh, from Beyond Video, our little trip down to Tazewell, Virginia, and uh, coming back from our VHS hunt. <clears throat> and I just want to go ahead and just uh, do a quick update here. And just I didn't get a whole lot. I only got five movies. Uh, Movie John only got five movies, and uh, Scott picked up ten movies. Just go go ahead and uh, do a little update here, and just show you what I got real quick. Didn't really see a. I saw a lot that I wouldn't mind having. Just didn't see much that I absolutely had to have. And uh, didn't really have a whole lot of cash on me anyway. And I'm trying to save what little cash I got for next weekend when I go to Baltimore. But here's what I did pick up. Called uh, Mother's Boys. It's got Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Uh, it's supposed to be like uh, a provocative and erotic thriller. I don't really know much about it. I've just heard people talk about it. You know, they said it's pretty good. Jamie Lee Curtis uh, goes nuts in it. <laughs> so, I uh, figured for two dollars, I figure why not? You know, it's the they call it the fatal, the fatal attraction of the '90s. So, eh, I like Jamie Lee Curtis; she's one of my favorites. I figure eh, two dollars, check it out. Can't go wrong. Um, so I'm a huge sword and sorcery type uh, fan, and I love sword and sorcery type movies with uh, like Conan, Beastmaster, Red Sonia, those types of movies. And uh, I've never actually even heard of this movie before. It's called The Rose and the Sword. It's got Rutger Hauer in it. Uh, also has uh, Jennifer Jason Lee, as many of you may remember. Uh, she from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It's got I like Rutger Hauer. Uh, of she's been in a lot of movies that I really like, like Blind Fury and uh, The Hitcher, uh, Nighthawks with Sylvester Stallone always plays a good villain but uh it's a medieval type sword and sorcery movie and it's from the same guy that directed total recall to total recall <laughs> total recall and robocop and uh i also noticed that the guy that did the score to the movie basil polydorus is the same guy that did the score for total recall and robocop and conan the barbarian those types of movies hold that up again let me see it over this good. way a little bit. Yeah, you can't see it that good over there. Okay. Uh, you may also remember Rutger Hauer. He played the bad guy in Blade Runner with uh, Harrison Ford. So, yeah, I like him. He's a really good actor, and I figure you can't go wrong with this movie. Two dollars. I like the I like the guy, Paul Verhoeven, the guy that directed this. is a good director. He did Basic Instinct and Total Recall and Robocop. Two dollars, pretty good buy. The next three I got were actually like kind of unusual for me. I don't really get too many movies like this, but they're, they're kind of like uh, sex comedies from the 80s. Uh, I think this one is actually from the early 90s. This one's called Party Camp. It's a great cover of that one. Oh yeah. You don't see covers like this anymore. You can tell this is straight from the 80s right here. I don't really know much about this movie, to be perfectly honest with you. It's Looks like a meatballs. It's put out by Lightning Video. That's what I was thinking too. It kind of looks like a kind of looks like a meatballs ripoff. But uh, you know, it's one of those uh, cheesy sex comedies from the 80s, uh, from 1986. I don't really know much of anybody. Let's see. Uh, I don't really know any of these uh, actors or actresses in it. that not really familiar to me. But uh, I like the cover. I like, you know, raunchy sex comedies from the 80s. <laughs> and, uh, and this looks like a good one, so why not? You know, $2. Can't go wrong, right? And if it, if it is... If it does suck, then I'm only out $2. It's 
Scott recommended this one to me. He said it was pretty funny. It's got Corey Feldman in it. In the middle there, you can see a little bit better, yeah. It's called South Beach Academy. And not only does it have Corey Feldman, who, of course, I love Corey Feldman, you know, from License to Drive and The Lost Boys, many Friday the 13th Part 4 and 5, so, and countless others. But not only does it have Corey Feldman in it, but it's got another one of my favorites in it. It's got Al Lewis, who is uh, Grandpa Munster. You don't see him in much. Munster. <laughs> you don't. And uh, I thought that was a kind of an odd team up. Corey Feldman and Al Lewis. And just check out the back of that. <laughs> Scott recommended it, said it was said it was funny. Yeah. Al Lewis, Corey Feldman. Scantily clad hot chicks. It's a winning combination right there. <laughs> and last but not least. Okay, that one's kind of messed up. This but. one's not in the greatest shape, but I can fix this. I, nothing a little scotch tape and a little super glue won't fix. It's in a big box. Uh, What do they call these? Book, uh, book, book big uh, box books or something. Yeah. I don't know. It's called hot chili. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, don't really know anything about this movie. Uh, look interesting. Put out by uh, MGM, MGM Home Video. I think it's just basically about these four guys, these four nerdy guys going on a trip to Mexico, looking to get. Uh, looking for some action and they end up getting into all kinds of misadventures down south of the border. They uh, meet this hot blonde on the front. Hot chili. Yeah. <laughs> uh, check out the back I there. I think I remember actually seeing that back in the days there for some reason. I don't know. I mean, not the movie, but just the cover of yeah. it. I can fix, like I say, I can fix this box. Yeah, a little work. I have looking good as new. But at two dollars I couldn't pass it up. And it sounds good. It sounds like something I'd like on the back of it. Yeah. But uh, that's all I picked up today and like I say I, I saw a lot that I wouldn't have mind had mind having but didn't necessarily have to have. I saw a lot that was on DVD already that I can get later on DVD. I know that that mother's boy is South Beach Academy is on DVD, but I figured what go ahead and pick it up, you know, two dollars, why not? And uh, that's basically it. I spent ten bucks today. And stay tuned to Movie John 75's channel and Scott Slasher World for our updates. Yep. Peace out.